Alrighty, what is up everybody out there in YouTube land? This is J Phoenix Suns bringing you an unboxing of the Micro RS4. Now, I am shooting this on my brand new S22 Ultra. So, the reason I'm telling you this is because I'm doing this one-handed. I have the entire setup. I can go through, you know, put my phone on a tripod rig, blah, blah, blah. But I don't want to because I just want to crack into this and get it going. Plus, I doubt there'll be many views because really, who cares? It's a Micro S4. It's been out for a while. Blah, blah, blah. But let me grab my knife here. And sorry for the mess in the room, guys. Let me get this opened up. And we will continue. Let's see, where does this bad boy open up? Actually, I think it's on the other side. Let's see if I can do this all one-handed without hurting myself. And there we go. We're cracking it open. And as you open it up, you can see that you are greeted with a remote. And I have the other um, version of this, the fail crew one, but God, it's so ugly and I hate the idea of fail crew and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I just don't like it. So, and I didn't know that they had this version out at the time. So here's the charger and all the goodness with the charger. And again, that's just the transmitter. I can't open it with one hand. What I like about this one is that it actually not only gives you drift tires, because the only the other one only gives you drift tires, but I like that it also gives you, oh, and it gives you a battery. I forgot about that battery for the transmitter. But it actually gives you regular rubber street tires. And inside of there you have your uh, manual. So let's put this over here. Put that on the floor because we're all here to see this. Now, when you get these, which I think is pretty cool, they cover with this kind of plastic. And it protects your new little car from, I guess, scratches and stuff is what they're trying to go for. Let me get this all pulled apart and done and be right back. Okay, so I got it all unpacked and as you can see, this is actually going to go into this car. I'm hoping that I'm able to put that in there. I did take the clip, the body clips off. So as you can see there, you have your, what it actually looks like underneath. And what's cool is that this actually comes with I don't know if the other one came with the heat synced speed control, but this one does. Um, I think it comes with a different servo than the uh, fail crew one. I'm not 100% sure on that, but there's your battery. And here's your tires that actually have some rubber on them. Yeah, that way you can speed it up and down. And only thing I hate, 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 hate that this is taped I mean come on man this is taped double-sided taped to the chassis I mean talk about two hundred dollars come on dude that is just garbage and it happened with the other one and what I did is I ended up getting oh it looks like it's missing a... is it supposed to have a... a bar let's see a tail whatever you call it um, no, it doesn't look like it has one. Weak. Weak. HPI. Ah, man, I don't know. I don't know HPI. But I can't really say because I do have their Ken Rally Block and the big boy, the 8th scale. So, I like HPI. It's just like, come on, man. Some of this stuff, like, I was expecting better tires, too. Like, I mean, these, it looks like they just took whatever tire they had and like somebody melted a bunch of rubber bands together and threw it on here i mean these 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 cars are cool man but are they worth 200 bucks it's the second one i've i've bid into are they worth 200 bucks i'm actually not going to open that controller because i'm going to put a futaba receiver in here for my futaba radio but come on man this is getting old with the servo thing like look check this out so when you move the servo, when you move, look, it actually puts strain. You see that? 
Like, what the fuck is that? I know you're not supposed to probably move it that much, but still. Put a little bit of strain on it, and the servo flies out. Like, what kind of crap is that? Anyways, here's my unboxing of the blah, 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 blah. Garbage card. Maybe that's why it's green. No, because the original is green. I don't know. But then I bought orange. I mean green. But that was the only color they had for these nipper nippers. So I don't know. All right, guys. Tell me what you think. I'm going to be putting this bad boy inside of it. Make it run better and faster. And, uh, yeah. Alright guys, take care.